2002, earthworks began in the construction of the largest aquarium in the Southern Hemisphere, on Durban's foreshore near the harbour. The concept was designed by the American company Creative Kingdom. It involves some 50 independent contractors, including project management specialists, building and landscape architects, civil, structural, electrical, hydraulic, geotechnical and aquatic engineers. The park's overall design incorporates strong local themes, bringing a multicultural Durban flavour to the marine world. This includes the iconic 1920s cargo shipwreck, which is seen here taking shape. Its open-air Dolphin Stadium has seating for some 1,200 spectators. Among its team of architects was Bruce Douglas, a director of Urban Edge Architect. What you can see behind me is the beach restaurants that are currently on construction. Next to that is the ship, which will also contain some restaurants. Um, the location of these restaurants are right on the beach edge, only separated by a beach promenade between the actual restaurants and the sea space itself. Below the restaurants, we're going to have a zone that will be activated for beach activities, which would include surfing, kite surfing, kayaking, all the other activities that you would normally associate with a beach, like this very, very sheltered area we have here at Vetchies Pier in front of Durban, which is probably about the most sheltered portion of the beach that we have. Among the specialist hydraulic engineers was Martin Bright. Currently behind us is the pier, which forms part of the seawater extraction system. This extraction system is unique in that we are going to be using the seabed which will act as a natural filter and be cleaned by the sea. What we have is 54 well point screens. Now these well point screens are buried in the seabed and they're buried in a sort of a window between minus two meters below the sea, seabed level and minus five. That allows us to draw water which will not be, um, have any contaminants in like iron or manganese and in addition the water will not be anaerobic. The pier structure is designed such that it is very transparent in that we've got the pier at 8 meter bays which means that you can see right through the structure. In addition, it will not have any impact on the sand replenishment scheme which is a major part of the Durban beaches. Now the, the high rate sand filters are basically going to provide us and polish the water after it's been treated through the protein skimmers which have a disinfection process called ozone. Now ozone is a unique system which is not often used in South Africa and this will be one of the largest in the country. The water from the exhibits overflows through a weir system and then discharges into a canal which is called the Point Canal system which will then take the water to the harbour. The quantity of pipes which are buried in the ground, the process pipes that is, is round about 22 kilometres and within the plant rooms we have eight kilometers. The number of pumps that we have on the life support systems is around about 460. The uniqueness of Ushaka Marine World is about the fact that we've combined four entertainment zones into one. The first one is the aquarium component, which is an interactive aquarium. The second one is the retail mix that we've put together here. Thirdly, the water park and its thrills and rides. And the fourth element, which 65% of world tourism still wants, it's beachfront attractions. So with those, those four put together, we have a real destination attraction here. The retail section has a strong Zulu atmosphere that is unique to this part of the world. The Ashaka Marine World opened on the 30th of April 2004 and the following year received the Outstanding Achievement Award from the themed Entertainment Association for its thematic creative design. 
The Ushaka Marine World was designed to have the largest variety of sharks in the world, including ragged tooth and Zambezi sharks. And also to accommodate more than 350 species of fish and other sea life.